Hello friends. If you're a bank nifty trader, you're going to find this video very helpful because I'm going to share my data analysis on bank nifty that helps me generate one to one and a half percent return on my capital on a monthly basis without taking any risk whatsoever. Yes, you heard me right. No risk whatsoever. So what I usually do is I download the historical data of almost all the assets on which I usually trade. And those assets could be stocks, ETFs, the indexes themselves, right? So I would download their historical data. And then what I do is I do some kind of analysis to be able to find some insight that can help me generate returns without taking much of a risk. And one of those findings on Bank Nifty is what I'm going to share with you in this video. And I have done this analysis on Bank Nifty starting the data available from 2016 all the way up to April 2021. What you have here on your screen is if you look at the orange bars that tell me how much Bank Nifty has moved from Wednesday close to Thursday close. And this finding helps me identify how much Bank Nifty moves in one day, that is on Thursday. So what I do is I take the closing price of Bank Nifty on every Wednesday, and then I take the closing price of every following Thursday. So it tells me from the Wednesday close, how much the Bank Nifty has moved on a Thursday. So how does it help me? You see, I'm an option seller, right? And I need to know which are the strikes that have the least possibility for Bank Nifty to pierce through on the expiration day, that is on every Thursday, so that I can take my positions on Wednesday, just before the close of the session. And I would know that if I would, let's say, sell options at particular strikes, those would not be breached by Bank Nifty. Why? Because the data is telling me that. And going back to the screen, if you look at these orange bars, they tell us how much the Bank Nifty has moved. And this is actually data for all the four years that I was talking about. And these blue vertical lines here represent the distance of 500 points on either side of Bank Nifty. So negative 500, negative 1000, negative 1500, both at the top as well as at the bottom, tell us that the closing on Thursday was at lower levels than the closing on Wednesdays. And same way, positive 500, 1000 and 1500 mean that closing on Thursday was higher than closing on Wednesday. And it's very clear from this graph here that it's been only twice, as you can follow the cursor here, that the bank nifty on a closing basis actually crossed the thousand points mark on either side. And these two bars that you're looking at that pierced through the thousand mark were actually right in the middle of the COVID pandemic. So for me, these two bars are the outliers. Apart from that, no other time has Nifty ever moved more than thousand points. So what you can do with this piece of information, if you know that, the chances for Bank Nifty to pierce through the thousand point levels on either side on a Thursday session are almost next to zero. Then what you can do is sell calls 1000 points above and sell puts 1000 points below, right? And you're going to collect some premium. And if you want to reduce your margin, you can also buy calls against these sold positions and then your return on capital would be even higher, right? So that's one of the ways you can actually use this information. Go with iron condors, right? Thousand points above and below, right? But there are a couple of very tricky scenarios here. One, if you're an option trader, regardless of you being primarily an option seller or option buyer, and if you've been trading for a very long time, you would have realized one thing that before the close of the session on Wednesday, the premiums on Bank Nifty especially in the last one hour of the trading session, they actually decay very rapidly. It's not uncommon for Bank Nifty to not really make much of a move. And yet the 
options decaying by 10 to 20 percent in just last one hour. Yes, it, it can happen. In fact, uh, here's a tip for you. Um, if the bank nifty is not really making much of a move, then go 600 points wide on both the sides and sell calls and puts, right? And you would sell these calls and puts one hour before the close of Wednesday session. And just before the close of the session, that is only five to 10 minutes are left before the close of the session, square off your position. Chances are you would have made at least 10% return on the sold calls as well as puts. Right? Anyway, coming back to this particular finding, you don't really have to stick to the thousand point wide criteria. You can also look at some of the psychological levels, right? So if you're seeing that a particular strike has not been breached for a very long time, and it is say 800 points away from where the bank nifty is about to close on Wednesday, then you can take that 800 point strike. You don't have to go all the way to the thousand point. So for me, even 800 points are a pretty safe bet on Bank Nifty for expiry day trade. But another tricky point here, how do you know where the Bank Nifty is going to close on Wednesday session? Because what happens is the closing basis or the levels at which the index is going to close is actually volume weighted. So what NSE does is they would look at the volumes as well as the prices to arrive at the closing levels of the index. And they would look at it from the last 30 minutes trading, right? So depending upon the volume as well as prices, the closing would be volume weighted, right? So, but you would have a fairly good idea of where it's going to close. And the thousand point here is just for the guideline. Even if it's 900 point or 1100 point on either side, you should still be fine, right? So that's the finding. But can we actually utilize the same data set and look at the probabilities of Nifty, let's say, moving more than 500 points on Thursday or more than 800 points on Thursday or so on? So I've actually gone one level ahead and done that kind of analysis as well for you. Okay, this is the graph. Probably you don't need to look at this. This is just a probability distribution graph. And by the way, I can quickly show you. you if you recall, the pandemic induced drop of 2,500 points is shown here as an outlier in this probability distribution graph. And the other time when the index actually closed 1000 points above is shown here. So these are really the outliers. Apart from that, you can see that most of the observations are between the 500 points range on either side. So what you have over here on the screen is probability of bank nifty moving less than say 100 points. So on any given Thursday, there are 60% chances that bank nifty would not move more than 100 points. But if I increase this 100 to say 500 points, the result comes out to be 92% chances. So what it means is on any given Thursday, there are 92% chances that bank nifty will close within 500 points of the closing levels on Wednesday. And if I can quickly pull back the same graph again, it is pretty much same as shown by this probability distribution graph. That is, most of the observations are actually from minus 500 to plus 500. That's how much Bank Nifty would move on any given Thursday. So now let's also have a look at what are the chances that Bank Nifty will not move more than a thousand points 99.8%, right? And that's why I say this methodology is a 100% risk-free methodology to make consistent returns on a week-on-week -week basis, right? Go ahead and sell calls 1,000 point above, 1,000 point below and forget about it. Yes, there can be odd times when you can see the pandemic kind of volatility and you can be challenged, right? In order to counter that kind of a situation, you will have to monitor. So how are you going to monitor is, 
we just put a stop loss right with the beginning of the thursday session and do not panic if you're a beginner when you see some kind of mark to market losses on one or the other position of yours uh, at the beginning of session or maybe towards the middle of the session um, rest assured just trust the data and you will be fine and the chances for bank nifty to piercing the 1000 points are really minimal but if you see some kind of a risk then by all means you can square off early you don't have to carry the position all the way towards the close of the session you can square off when let's say you've got 60 to 70 percent of the premium dk already on the sold strikes and you can exit right before the european markets open that's when the volatility may increase you can exit before that right so there are ways in which you can mitigate your uh, risk and if you're really uncomfortable then just square off right come back again on the next wednesday and put the trade again right you don't have to trade every week however if you're going to trade every week then an 18 percent return on your capital on an annual basis is a given and mind you this is a compounding return so that's the finding that i wanted to share with you guys now you know what all are the safe levels i can quickly show you some of the other probabilities as well if you want to vary your strikes and then you can take your positions accordingly and by all means you can come back to this video and see the probability levels. the data doesn't really change that often and neither does the bank nifty changes its characteristics that often right so i update this data on a yearly basis every april to april and this is from april 2021 so for 900, the probability is again 99.52, right? So you can come 100 points closer to where the bank nifty is going to close again with lots of confidence. What about 800? 98.94%. You're still getting 99% probability of winning even by taking the calls and puts 800 points wide for selling the options. 700? 97.8 95% probability that Bank Nifty would not move more than 600 points on a given Thursday. What else do you want? Here is an analysis that I did by simply downloading the data from the NSE website and doing some data crunching. That's it. It's not rocket science. And even if you wouldn't have done this analysis for identifying the probability of how much the bank nifty would move and you simply would have relied on this particular graph that's good enough visually you can see that thousand points are safe then you can try and test with 800 points 900 points and so on and that's it that's your numbers backed methodical way to make consistent returns on a weekly basis and if you just start off with say 50 to 60 thousand capital and you would go with a thousand point iron condor you can make two to three thousand rupees on a monthly basis that's it by doing nothing you're putting your capital on the line only for one night and you're hardly putting in the efforts worth 10 minutes that's 40 minutes in a month and you're going to earn two thousand rupees on a capital of sixty thousand all right you can go ahead check on the zero the margin calculator you can see how much your margin has been blocked and stuff and that's it go ahead and start earning your money and if you're still with me so far then i thank you for watching this video now go ahead and start generating some returns on a weekly basis enjoy